this World Cup will probably go down as the best one that we've had. Um, because it's not a two horse race or a three horse race, it's actually six, seven teams that can go on and win, and win the, uh, the World Cup. Uh, I also feel that the, that the second tier teams are improving and they're giving the first tier teams a, a, a much better go at it. Um, so that just makes for a great World Cup. So, you know, you've got, the, you've got Ireland, England, Wales uh, that, that have showed that they can beat any team. Um, and then France, that on the day in a World Cup, you, you sort of never want to play them, uh, you know, because you don't know what to expect. Um, and then you've got the traditional South Africa, New Zealand, Australia. Uh, you know, so there's seven teams that can actually go on and win the competition. That's good enough to do that. Um, the, the reality of the matter is that one of those teams won't even make it out of pool. Uh, you know, with Australia, England and Wales being in the same. And um, uh, it just shows that you're going to have to be at your best for the whole duration of this competition to be able to, to go win the World Cup eventually. I think they've showed that they've got the qualities to be able to to uh, to beat the top teams, and um, uh, that for me is good enough to go into a competition to say, well, you know, we're backing ourselves. Um, you know, especially Ireland, we were totally outplayed by them at the end of last year. So, so credit to them for that, and uh, and I think they've got a coach that's that's really good and that plans really well, and they've got a captain that's very inspirational. You know, so. Um, a, a very tough team to play. So uh, the thing about a World Cup is you 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 just want to get out your pool. Um, you want to be able to finish first or second. And if you do go go out your pool and lose a game, you know then it's still fine because you want to go into the playoffs winning three in a row because you can't make any mistakes there. So it's getting out your pool and then being good enough to win three in a row. Um, that's much easier said than done. Uh, uh, and I think you know the teams that I mentioned are able to to do that. Very dangerous team. Um, England at home, uh, you know, and they've, they've they've got I think they've got a lot of confidence now as well, and a bit of momentum after the Six Nations, even though they didn't win it eventually. Um, they put up good performances, and uh, they they're settling in. Uh, I would say probably eighty percent of the the team at this stage. So it's a team that you don't want to play against. Uh, they're the one team that you, when you go into the into the game, you do not know what to expect, but you want to be at your best because uh, if they're firing and if they get a bit of confidence, then they're a really difficult team to beat. <laughs>